this is the outline stitch. So what I did is I have my string and I have a little tail on here. Do not knot it. And at the other end of my string, I have my double knot. Always start on the back. This is good for when you want to outline something. That's why it's called the outline stitch. Start on the back, pull, 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 pull until your knot hits the string. Go it back in next to it. But this time when you do it, leave a tiny loop. See how I have a little loop here? Leave it there. And I'm going to go back from the bottom to the front, and I'm, but I'm going in between it. So see how my needle is coming out in between my loop? So now I'm going to pull, 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 pull. Pull it, pull it, pull it, and it pulls it tight. I'm going to go over next to it. I'm going to pull until I have a little loop. And I'm going to go back through this hole right next to it, the closest string to it. Ready? And now I'm going to pull tight. Pull, 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 pull. Good job. If you get a little resistance, it might mean it's a little dirt messy on the back. So you might have to flip it over just to check. Pull. Now I'm going to go over next to this one. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, I pull too much. Leave a loop. And when I come back from, from the front to the back, sorry, from the back to the front, I'm going to go in this hole right next to it. I'm going to keep going. Leave a loop. Come back through the hole that you already used. All right, to finish it, you just end on the back and you tie a knot. And that is it.